Today's lesson is about lengthening, lengthening your whole side, your whole side of the body. It's lengthening, making it longer. I'm not talking about stretching. It's lengthening as opposed to stretching. It will give you a wonderful feeling of being upright and long. Not compressed, but very long. Lengthened. And there's a twist to the lesson as well. Start at the floor, so please come to lie onto your back. I, and I do the same thing. It's 8.30 p.m. You're my last class for today. This lesson starts with one of my favorite moves. I have many favorite moves actually, but so just lie on the floor with your feet standing, which means feet are standing and kind of poise the knee over the feet, uh, right knee over right foot, so that the foot, the leg is kind of standing on its own. Uh, don't have them too narrow, don't have them too wide, just don't have the knees fall out to the outside or to the inside, just poise them so they're in an equilibrium, a balance. <laughs> I do this, I can do this instead of taking a nap in the afternoon. Or I take a nap and I think I should do something else than just taking a nap. And then I do this, so this is already something, having your feet standing. And then start with uh, one knee, maybe choose the left knee. Tilt the knee inwards, but don't do it fast. Don't do it forceful. Just have the left knee go more and more towards cross the midline of your body, an imaginary midline of the body. And to the outside again. You can feel how does this feel on your foot. More and more weight is shifting on the inside of your foot. Inside, big toe, inside of the heel. And then it rolls back, you can feel the weight of your leg on your heel, on your toes. You have five toes, I hope you have five toes. And all of those toes bear some weight, carry some weight. But how much? Can you feel how much weight every toe is? And not in numbers, of course, just in a feeling. So you have a hip joint in your left hip, hip joint, it's a ball joint. So the knee can tilt, the whole leg can rotate a little bit, it can tilt a little bit, comes more to the inside. At some point it can't go any further. In order to bring the knee down, the pelvis has to roll a little bit. Pelvis has to roll a little bit and come back, roll a little bit and come back. Can you feel that? For some distance is the hip joint, the ball in the socket which rolls and it can't go any further at some point and then the pelvis rolls. So you can either have your right knee standing, your right leg standing, or flop it a little bit to the outside. But the idea is to have the right knee towards the ceiling. So this in itself is a very nice movement, comfortable movement. Make it comfortable. And you can do this with the right leg. You can stop this video at any point or just let the video go on and enjoy one move and then come click on your computer to come back to where you missed, where you, where you phased out. Just enjoy this movement. You can, you can do this for like 15 minutes have your right knee tilt towards the midline and over the midline to your left, to the left of course, and bring the right knee to standing. So once it's the left knee going to the right, 
once is the right knee going to the left. Very nice movement. Some, for some distance it's just in the hip joint and then the pelvis starts to roll. And let the pelvis roll. So once it's just the left knee, just the right knee and then you can... How you say that in English? Daisy chain. Once the left, once the right. Once the left, once the right. Alterate. Alterate the movement. Keep your head free. Your head is carried by the floor. Maybe your head wants to roll. Maybe not. Maybe it wants to roll in a different direction than your knees are going. And then take a rest. So that's already good for something. Just feel when you, when you make your legs long, how the legs are resting, how that feels like. You can come back to the same movement or now we continue with the lesson. Get two, both of your feet standing again. Tilt your left knee towards the midline, over the midline, to the right. Okay, so your left knee is tilted inwards towards the floor and then put your right foot in between your left foot and your left knee. So you put the right foot onto your lower left leg. Yeah? And then let your right knee and the left knee together sink to the floor a little bit. So this really rolls your pelvis and it does something to your lower back and to your back as a whole. Keep your shoulders on the floor. Do this many times, but I speak, I hope I speak in a relaxed fashion and you should be relaxed too. Just let your right knee sink a little bit. So both legs sink together to the side and your back has to arch to be able to accommodate this movement so maybe so I'm, I'm really not flexible enough for this lesson this is a challenging, a challenging lesson for me I won't be able to do all the moves I'm going to show you and maybe maybe you're able to do it but maybe not and that's not the point of the lesson this is not about achievement this is not about flexibility, this is not about showing off, this is not about performance, this is not about ranking in a group, it's about finding something inside of yourself, enjoy the moves, don't challenge yourself too much. Huh? Keep your shoulders on the floor, maybe your right knee can touch the floor, maybe not. So. This is a movement you can do in a very relaxed fashion. You can just feel every little inch, every, every little millimeter of this movement. When your pelvis rolls and at some point your pelvis can't roll anymore and you have to arch in your back in order to have more your knees, your right knee and your left knee closer to the floor. And keep your head on the floor and keep your shoulders on the floor. And then try it on the other side. Which means you have both your feet standing, you tilt your right knee towards the floor in the middle. And then you put your left foot between your right knee and your right foot in the middle of your lower right leg on the outside. And then you start to tilt your legs to the left. So first it's just a movement in the hip joints, then it's a movement in the pelvis, the pelvis rolls, and at some point it can't roll any further and you have to arch your back. It's a movement chain really, right? You have to arch your back and don't roll over to your left side, but keep your shoulders on the floor. And come back and you can enjoy this movement and do it really slow. And as I said, at any point you can stop the video and continue later if you want to enjoy this movement. If you want to explore, you can even ask for the connection with your 
breathing, how does this movement affect your breathing, limit your breathing. You have lungs on your left side and on your right side. They might react differently because the chest is not even anymore. The chest is arched and in a side bending. And then take a rest. I can easily play with these couple of moments for half an hour. If you are relaxed in a state of in a state between wake and sleep, you can do this. And just feel how you're resting. When you're resting on the floor, feel how is it? How is your connection to the floor? How much do you surrender to the floor? Then get your legs to stand again. Your feet are standing. Tilt your left knee to over the midline towards the floor. Put your right foot on top of your left lower leg, in the middle of your lower leg. Let the knee sink toward your right. See, is any change already? Now keep your knees towards the right. Interlace your fingers, put the fingers behind your head and start to lift your head with the help of the arms. It's a little bit of a crunch, but not much, just a little bit lifting of the head and come back again and see there's a relationship between the knees and lifting the head. When you lift the head, the knees come up and when you lower the head, the knees go down toward to the right side. Explore this connection a little bit. Keep your shoulders on the floor, lift your head. Lifting the head means your neck becomes longer in the back and your chin comes closer to your chest bone and the ribs in front of your body fold, they come closer, and your whole back lengthens. The lower spine comes closer to the floor, on the right side in this case. When you breathe out, it will be easier to lift the head. If you look with your eyes towards your feet, it will be easier to lift the head, as opposed to breathing in. When you breathe in and you try to hold your breath, it will be difficult. When you look up towards your hair and to try to lift the head, it might be more difficult. Huh? Okay, then next movement. Do this on the other side. Have your feet standing, tilt your right leg to the midline, towards your left, put your left foot on top of your right lower leg, tilt your left legs to the left, your left knee towards the left side. Your hands behind your head and once the, the legs are over to the left side, raise your head and lower it again. So, for one, we enjoy this movement, we explore, we see how it is, we have questions for the breathing, for the movement, how the vertebra, how the chest, how everything is organized to do this kind of movement. And of course, the movement itself will have an effect. But the effect will come on its own, we don't have to worry about this. And then take a break again. How is it for you? For me, I get more and more aligned with the floor. I get more and more flat. There's less and less tension in my body. It's nice. All right. Then get your feet to stand again. We will have a, we will try. Uh, tilt your left knee to the right. Put your right leg on top of your left lower leg and tilt your legs, your knees to the right and see how it is, if that's easier already. 
can try this on the other side, see if it's easier already. You can have your feet standing and tilt just your left leg to the middle or just your right leg to the middle and see if that's easier already, if you're more flexible in your chest, if this movement is already more better known to yourself, you can have your head rolling and your head neck movement not constricted. And take a rest again, just a few little tests. Okay, now it's going to be difficult. This was the easy part of the lesson. So this is a couple of movements you can memorize and do instead of resting. And now comes the difficult part. It's difficult for me, I don't know if it's gonna be difficult for you. Maybe it's not difficult at all for you, so that will not be the difficult part for you. For me it is. So please come on, so have your feet standing and come onto your elbows. It's like this. Yeah. Tilt your left knee towards the middle, put your right foot on top of your left lower leg and then bring your right knee towards the floor on your right side. Ooh. So <laughs> the pelvis has to roll to the right and you have to arch in the back. You have to bring your head a little bit to the back and you have to really make an arch in the back. Ugh. So I have seen women in my class who can do this easily. And I have seen men who can do it somehow easily. And uh, then there's many students who have the same difficulties like I have. So don't worry if you can't do it. And if you can do it, focus on how to make it uh, more comfortable, even more comfortable. So I try this on the other side. Have your right leg towards the midline, tilt to your left, and put your left leg on top of your right lower leg, and tilt the knees over to your left side, and really make an arch in your back. And I take a rest, you can continue. I don't continue this. <laughs> this is too difficult for me. Okay, next variation. You can stop the video at any time if you want to have a longer break. I don't make a break, I just guide you through a couple of more movements and then we uh, finish for today. So come to lean against your hands with the legs standing, tilt your left knee towards the midline, put your right foot on top of your left lower leg and then bring your right knee towards the floor. That's not so difficult, is it? And you really have to arch in the back. Arch, it's a big arch in your back. And bring your head backwards. Okay. I do this on the other side now, which means feet are standing, right knee is tilted towards the midline, left foot is over your right lower leg and the knees tilt to the left and this has to be a big arch in the back and come back. And you shouldn't be holding your breath. Breathing should be free and easy. <laughs> you can feel, where can you let go? It's not a stretch, never do any stretching. How to do this? Don't put any effort. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll try the other side again. Okay, this is starting to be more easy. Actually, my body is starting to get used to this movement. I switch over my legs again. Because I'm starting to get bored, because it's too difficult. And if it's too difficult, I tend to get bored. I tend to not like it when it's too difficult. Okay, and then take a rest again. Ay, ay, ay. After such a movement, I need a long rest. 
but I feel my shoulder blades are much softer now. My whole back is softer now. My head rolling improved. Okay, next variation. Put your feet to standing again. Lean against your hands again. Tilt your left knee to the midline. Bring your right foot on top of the outer side of your left lower leg. Tilt your knees over to your right. So you have to do a big arch in your back. And then once protrude your belly, bring your belly out and then once protrude your chest so you can make a difference between once it's more the belly which you protrude and once it's more the chest that you protrude. Uh, switch between those two and your head can go backwards. Is that something which is comfortable? I'm not sure about this. <coughs> Try the other side. I, but if you find out where to let go, it starts to be easy. Just don't stretch. Don't strain anything. Instead of stretching and straining, either do it do less or do not as much, which is the same as doing less, and try again another time. Hmm. Uh, take, a, take a break. Ah. There's a couple of more variations. Variations. One is actually fairly comfortable. So bring your feet to standing again. Bring your left knee inside, the right foot over onto your left lower leg. Bring your arms over your head and tilt your legs, your knees to the right. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Ah. So, when the right when the right knee is coming closer towards the floor, you can feel one hand is dragged closer towards the feet. Which hand is it? Obviously, it's the left hand, right? The left hand is dragged on the floor when you tilt over your legs to the right. So, instead of having your left hand dragged downwards towards your feet, try to extend your left side. So you tilt over your right knee towards the floor and you raise your left hand over, raise relative to yourself, which means the left hand stays on the floor and you make your left side longer, you elongate on your left side and then come back again. Don't shorten your neck. Don't hold your breath. Just elongate your left arm, tilt the legs to the right, come back. Oh. So that's something you can explore. Stop the video, pause the video, replay, memorize how I really like it. Let's do it on the other side to move forwards in this lesson. Get your legs to standing, tilt your right leg over the midline towards the floor. Bring your left leg onto the outer side of your right lower leg. Tilt your legs over to the left and then you can feel it. this will drag which hand, which arm, right arm, right downwards. And then instead of letting your knees pull on your arm, raise your right arm, elongate your right side. Again, this is not a stretch. This is find, finding length. This is finding an organization, how to open. It's open, how to open, yes. Which means the ribs on the right side will spread a bit. You can roll your head wherever you would like to roll your head. And then take a break. Better to do the lesson again instead of holding on to something that's too difficult. Don't.
don't hold the hot potato. <laughs> it's interesting. Now I feel different again. My relationship to the floor changed again. Same for you? You feel this difference? <laughs> Funny. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Get your feet to standing. One last variation. Tilt your left. I always start with the left knee. You can start with the right knee. I start with the left knee over the midline towards the right. Put the right foot on top of your left lower leg. Turn your head to the left. Put your right hand to your left ear. So you hold your left ear, your left cheek with your right hand. And once you start to sink your knees towards to the right, lift your head, but keep looking to your left. It's a funny way of lifting the head. And we explore this relationship again between contraction, shortening of the front side, elongating of the back side, while having this strong twist. And I can feel my whole back is relaxing even further. The erector spinae, the, the muscles which keep me upright, erectors of the spine, they start to relax, to let go. It's a very nice feeling. Okay, let's do this on the other side as well. I think I'm running out of time. Doing on the other side as well. So, your knees towards the left, you turn your head to the right. You, with the left hand, you hold your right ear, head is turned towards the right, and you lift your head while looking to the right. And you explore this connection with having your legs tilted towards the left. And go with easy. All right, so one last break to relax. It's a pause to check in with the floor. You can have a nap. I don't because I'm making a video. And if you like, you can try the first movement again of just tilting your legs inwards and outwards. And if you have taken good care of yourself, if you didn't strain yourself, if you didn't overdo and if you didn't stretch, then this will be a very nice feeling now of being able to tilt the knees inwards and roll your pelvis and arch your back and feel how this is going through your whole body. If you did too much, if you strained or if you stretched, this might be painful now. So don't stretch. Don't overdo anything. Always stay in your comfort zone. That's the paradox. If you work in your comfort zone, if you really take good care of yourself, then what's available to you will be bigger in the end. It's like if you have a good conversation, you will learn a lot. If you have a bad conversation, very stressed, not much to learn, not much to enjoy. So always take good care of yourself. Don't hurt yourself. This got, this got a lot better. Huh. I can almost touch the floor. Funny. And here? Huh? There's more movement on to my left side. Be creative, you can play with this. It's not a fixed system. Of course it's very intelligent, well structured, it's a genius lesson. But you can play with it, you can disassemble it. You can be creative and just do what's, yeah. 
<laughs> whatever. So I hope you like this lesson. You have, to, you have to get up to standing now. You have to get up and feel how it is in standing. That's how we end the lesson. So I have to get up too and see how it is in standing. In standing, you just feel how you carry the head. The head should be easy. How easy it is to turn. Turning should be easy now because it was a twist. Should be long and easy to turn. Feel the weight on your legs. Da, 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 da. <laughs> if you like the video, please like the video. If you want to comment or to contribute anything, please contribute. And see you in the next video. Thank you.